Hey everyone, this is James with WS News. Why Kamala Harris is yet to concede amid Trump's return to the White House. Following the election, Vice President Kamala Harris has not yet formally conceded defeat despite former President Donald Trump securing the presidency by surpassing the critical 270 electoral votes required to win. Harris was originally scheduled to address her supporters at a gathering at Howard University in Washington, D.C., but canceled her election night speech as results indicated Trump's clear path back to the Oval Office. In a statement from Harris's campaign co-chair Cedric Richmond, he emphasized that the vice president's team remains focused on ensuring every vote is counted. We still have votes to count. We still have states that have not been called yet. We will continue overnight to fight to make sure that every vote is counted and every voice has spoken, Richmond told supporters at Howard University, as mentioned in a report. The atmosphere at Howard University, where Harris completed her undergraduate education, was electric as alumni, Democratic supporters, and Biden administration officials gathered in hopes of seeing Harris address the crowd. With past speakers at Howard, including figures like Nelson Mandela and former President Barack Obama, the setting was expected to underscore the historical significance of Harris's campaign. However, as the election results began pointing toward a Trump victory, the anticipation shifted to uncertainty, with Harris's team ultimately deciding to hold off on the formal concession. This decision was seen as a move to assure her supporters that the campaign was dedicated to ensuring the integrity of the final count, though Harris is expected to acknowledge the election outcome very soon. So let me know what you think about it in the comments section. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this, and I will talk to you soon.